Dave Reddy, our informant, is waiting for you in the reception area. If you like, he can lead you to a meeting where Faber will be in attendance. What you do from then on is up to you. Be mindful, though. He will not wait around for long. You must be Dave Reddy. Ah, yes. You're the one I've been expecting. The special guest. I am. Okay, so like I told your superiors, I can get you inside the meeting, but that's it. What you do from there is up to you. Got it? Just how I like it. All right. Uh, but, uh, you can't go in dressed like that. You'll need to look like an engineer or one of the lab guys or, or a guard, I guess. I'll work something out. Good. I'll wait for you here. Don't take too long. They're expecting us upstairs in the conference room. How's this? Where'd you find that? Da, 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 never mind. I don't want to know. Let's go. Faber's already expecting us up there. Can't wait to meet him. This guy's with me. Good afternoon, sir. So, this deal is closed when we enter the room, all right? I get you in, that's all. And then your people take care of my problem. Don't worry. We'll fulfill our end of the bargain. Solid. Uh, uh, you know, I don't know what I was thinking, honestly. Getting involved with people like the Morenos, it, it, it was stupid. I thought I could make some quick cash, you know? Buy that yacht, sail a couple of babes to the Caribbean for the summer. Stupid! The Moreno cartel is the biggest in the Southern Hemisphere. You don't try to cheat those kind of people. I wish I'd met you a little earlier, buddy. Could have used that advice six months ago, you know? Anyway, we're almost there, so uh, let's put on our game faces. Ah, there you are. I expected something different. I'm Mark Faber. Mr. Faber! What an absolute pleasure to meet you. I'm Dave Reddy, Special Acquisition Gatekeeper, working with you on this job. <laughs> I'd show you my break book, but I'm sure you've already heard about me. Can't say that I have. Oh, uh, I see. But before we begin, I just wanted to tell you that I've read up on your file. Oh, man, very impressive. It's all about enjoying what you do. Couldn't agree more, my friend. I've prepped an extensive briefing to help us sync up on the subject that needs to be, uh, <laughs> consulted with. I think it'll provide you with a full 360. Good. Let's proceed. Hey, not a problem, Mark. Not a problem at all. All right, well, let's grab a seat and get this show on the road. Okay, so the consultation is with a man called Pavel Sukov, a relative of your boss's former partner. 10-4. For the last six months, Sukov has been dishing out malicious rumors about my good friend Bob Knox. Did some digging, and it turns out He's publishing a book about the secret beginning of Kronstadt Industries. <laughs> Completely ridiculous effort. But the rumors are putting a hard stop on the growth of our stock. He's been putting out some very quotable things in the media lately. 
So, Knox is looking to protect the bottom line. This Sukov fellow, he's enjoying the limelight. There was a press conference a week ago, yeah? Huh. You've really done your homework. You're right. He's showering in media attention. Is that going to be a problem? On the contrary. I prefer public consultations. Nowhere better to hide than in the middle of a spectacle. Well, then this is your bluebird, my friend. You know what? Let's try a small exercise. You. Suppose you were sent to kill me. We're in this meeting together. You're sitting there in the chair, waiting for your moment. How would you kill me? What's the plan? You've been drinking quite a lot of coffee. Yes. Fast-acting poison. Emetic. About five seconds from ingestion to reaction. Follow you to the bathroom. Drown you. Terrible accident. Gruesome. But I survived worse than that. What else? Cause a small distraction. Lure you out onto the balcony and throw you over the railing to your death below. You look strong enough. But there are bushes down there. They break the fall. I'd walk away without a single broken bone. Final bid? Knife on the table over there. Quick throw. Knife through the head. You'd be dead before you hit the floor. <laughs> That's more like it. But very risky. You'd have a hard time escaping the room. But I would love to see you try that. Right. I think it's time for a smoke. I'll be back in a bit. Excuse me, sir. Seems like you're not cleared to come through here. Sorry. You must be Mark Faber. I wish I could say I knew all about you, but Dave's been uncharacteristically secretive. You work in weapons development, too? Or on the practical application side of things, if you understand. Oh, uh, uh, uh of course. V v very nice. Well, um, I looked at the diagrams you sent. I haven't had that much time to work on the prototypes, but I do have something early to show you. Lovely. Let's have a look. So, the designs were... interesting. Did, did you do them yourself, I wonder? Ah, so that explains the untraditional nature of the work. I like things to be custom. You could say that spectacle is part of my signature. Very interesting, Mr. Faber. Right, let's have a look at this. I need it to be an exact replica of Sunkov's favorite fountain pen. And it has to be. Huh. No explosive element. What the hell is this? What am I supposed to do with this thing? Stab the man? We had some difficulty accommodating the, the, the exact design requirements. <laughs> No, the, the pen's actually woven from the, the finest boron nitrate nanotubing with a tensile strength surpassing 33,000 megapascals. I'm sure that will impress your engineering friends, but that hardly makes it explosive. I specifically requested an explosive pen capable of vaporizing the upper part of a man's torso. Well, uh, coming by a volatile compound that would be able to achieve that is uh, extremely hard. A distilled sample of Mr. Knox's Nitro Booster didn't even come close. Frankly, it, it seems a, a little excessive, Mr. Faber. Of course, that's the whole point. There isn't much spectacle in waiting for the man to accidentally stab himself in the eye with your ridiculous boron nitrate pen on live television, is there? I... Uh, oh, I suppose not. 
disappointing. Well, done is done. I suppose I'll have to try to figure out how to use this thing now. Knox's new brainchild. Chilling. Can't really see it replacing humans for a long time, but I will say, I admire his showmanship. But you, my friend, lack what all machines lack. Spontaneity. The ability to think freely on your feet. And, perhaps more important than anything, the ability to feel fear, whether we like it or not. Death is what drives us, makes us human. Once we lose that, well, we're nothing more than empty shells drifting through life, waiting to finally be discarded. Talus is top of the line, Mr. Faber. The most advanced robotic system in the world. The AI is world class, too. Yeah, Mr. Knox has designed this to make us all jobless in 20 years. Yeah, I saw his talk on artificial intelligence last year. More of a flesh and blood kind of guy than he is, I think. But we could all become indestructible. I certainly hope not. We will be up to the job then. Mm, a bomb doesn't actually have to be that powerful. But it is extremely important the explosive element is flashy enough. It's not misdirection if people aren't looking at it. This isn't exactly a discreet container. But I suppose if we add balloons to the event, spray paint this to look like a helium canister, I think we can make this work. The most ingenious thing about the active ingredient in Mr. Knox's octane booster is the versatility. We can create multiple compounds from this, effectively shaping its use based on what we add to it. How so? Well, for instance, if you were to require a, a flashier explosion, the Nox burns quite quickly and doesn't produce long-lasting flames. But if you were to add a, an adhesive or, or even a magnesium solution to the compound, things would change dramatically. After all, it was originally designed to produce colored flames and smoke for drag racing events. Hmm, that is very useful indeed. I have to say, Misty, you... I like what I'm seeing here. Oh, thank you, Mr. Faber. I'll be back. Keep everything warm for me, will you? Exploding pans. The practical value is zero compared to the development cost. How would something like that ever become a commercial success? This area is restricted, sir. I can't let you pass. All right, Talon, let's start up with Joe. No, no, the main event takes place on the top floor. Morgan's assured me we can lure anyone we need up there quite easily. We'll detonate the entire floor using a new type of explosive I'm hoping to secure today. No, the agent should live. We need the witness. You'll detonate once he fires off the first shot. Like a hit on a nearby gas canister. Far-fetched, sure. They fell for the exploding fire extinguisher a few years ago. Sure it'll work. Right. I need to finish with an intel brief here, then I'll fly out to meet you. to the world in New York next week. I paid off a call girl he frequents, and she let it slip where the bad boy is going to perform his evil deeds. <laughs> that guy can't keep the trap gun about it. Yeah, keep it real. I certainly hope you were able to dig a little deeper than this.
I'll just head over to check on what that you guys working on. You carry on. Okay, you, you do that. There's still lots to talk about, though. Have a nice, Have a nice day. day. Okay, let's get back into it. So, we looked into renting the entire building. The short answer is, it can be done, but we'd need to strap a couple of shell corps together in the process. Can't have anything linking back to Knox or I'll be out of a job. And I know you don't want that. So that makes it slightly more complicated, as there are, you know, a lot of moving parts included in this. But it's totally achievable. 
I'm on the case, fighting down hard on this to get what you need. All right? All right! Fascinating, Mr. Reddy. I think I'll just head over to that new fella and have a look at the equipment. I'll come back. Sure. Yeah, I'll just hang here. I got some other things I need to circle back on as well. Hope I look cool. Jesus Christ! Seriously love your work on those Kronstadt cars. Very cool, sir. You got this. Just tell him to dial it down a little. Even 20%. Or 30. 50 times. Yeah. Hey, how you doing?
Target eliminated. Hopefully, this will be the last time we have to deal with Mr. Faber. The money is being transferred now, 47. Time to find an exit.